So now I'm going to describe the four conditions of the experiment. First of all, as you can see, I have created an empty line. And now I start a section called table. I can have multiple tables, but in this specific experiment, I have one table, and it's called Simon Conditions. This word Simon Conditions is chosen by me. Important here, there are no spaces uh, in this name of the table. And there will be four lines, and each line describes one of the conditions. So first, I will have some words that are just for uh, humans that describe the condition in human readable um, uh, words. So I'm going to say left pause, left A, com. And this stands for left position, left arrow, compatible condition. That <clears throat> now that means actually the stimulus will be presented left. It's the left arrow and it's, I call this condition compatible. But again, I mean this here is only for humans and you will later see how this is useful in the data farm. The next thing is the stimulus that I want to be shown. In this condition, it will be the left arrow of the bitmap section. So I'm going to type here left arrow. Then I'm going to say where on the sc screen it will be presented. It will be 200 pixels left of the fixation point. So I say minus 200. And then which key is going to be used? There will be two keys, key one for the left arrow and key two for the right arrow. So this will be one. Now, the, the way I, I order these different things in a table are somewhat arbitrary. <clears throat> Important is that they are the same for each of the conditions. Uh, so there needs to be consistency in it. But later that will become clear. Now I'm just going to fill in the same for the other three conditions that are left. So first of all, right, pause, right, A, com, and that is the right arrow to be presented right of the fixation point. So 200 pixels right of the fixation point. And the key associated with the right arrow is key two. Then the third condition, that is the left pause, right arrow, incompatible. So I and C stands here for incompatible. So we show the right arrow, this name again. This name here is chosen from the bitmap section, right arrow. It will be shown 200 pixels left of the fixation point, so minus 200. And the key to be pressed is the right key, so it's key two. And the final condition that is right pause, left, uh, left arrow, and that's incompatible. And this will be the left arrow to, present, to be presented 200 pixels right of the fixation point, and the key to be pressed is key one. Now, I'm done with typing in this information, but you see, it's not easy to read, so I'm going to align it a little bit, so it's easier to read for us. And um, so we see, actually, we have four columns of information. So we have the human readable information here. We have the stimulus to be presented. This is always chosen from the bitmaps defined here. The x coordinate, so left or right of the fixation point, minus 200 of 200 um, pixels, and the associated key, one or two. And that is really the description of your conditions. Now, make sure that you always save the code. I click save here, and this has now been uh, saved to the disk on the server. And I'm basically ready to go on with describing the events within a trial. And that will be in the next video.